Hello! So today I'm going to be reading you a few short poems. Uh, I know that my poetry videos get about the least amount of views of all my videos, but I don't care because I want to share my poetry and you guys need to be hearing good poetry. So, uh, oh, by the way, Arthur, thank you for calling me out on littering. Uh, I know it's a bad habit. And I've done it all my life, only with cigarette butts, but you are right, and uh, I'm going to make a point to stop that. So, anyways, without further ado, this first one is called An Ode to Those Who Let Us Out. Thanks, give thanks for all that's good to those who stuck around with watchful eyes and steady hands to pick us from the ground. And praise, lift praises to the sky for those who cared enough to teach us what we ought to know and pick us from the rough. So the second poem is going to be called The Myth Mortician. The consummate myth mortician laid to rest at last another misconception of the legendary past. He's certain of his argument, quoting all the greats, but all alone in his apartment, all alone, he masturbates. The third one is called Boundaries. Boundaries are best set before they are crossed. And love is a shy creature, usually lost, when boundaries are opened or sold for low cost. All right, and uh, the fourth and final poem of this video, I kind of just did this for fun. This is like a kind of a, just a fun poem, I guess. It was like a linguistic exercise to write a poem without using any Greek or Latin based words. And it's called, Ye New English. What would English look like if the Romans, Greeks, and French never had the chance to add to it their own two cents? Well, first of all, vocabulary hails from Latin Rome. We would instead use word stock. It's a bit closer to home. And while we're speaking Latin, we can throw out symphony. For leather tune befits our word lore much more happily. But how could we talk science? without Latinate or Greek. No more would we say ologists, but lore man's how we'd speak. Now, none of this is quite established. Rather, it's root fast. We don't need words like ultimate. We're fine with saying last. It might seem less intelligent, but we'd say we have wits. For it's quicker not to say combine and rather to say mix. So as an English writer, all in all, I'd rather be working on wordsmithing much more than some poetry. So that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm not really going to be giving interpretations or explanations of my poetry anymore when I read it because it, it's better to just set it out and let other people decide what they want. I mean, I do... Whenever I write something, I do have a uh, meaning in mind. I'm not one of these, uh, like, automatic writers or people who think that poetry should be so obscure or, um, uh, you know, tough to understand. Or I think it should be artful and that it should have proper diction and a good uh, rhythm. But a poem shouldn't be so hard to understand that that it takes some kind of uh, some kind of description or contextualization given by the artist or given by some kind of art critic, which is very often the case with modern poetry. It's like impossible to understand without the context, the historical context, and who the artist or who the poetry poem was, poet was, and that's garbage. A poem should, oh, any work of art should stand on its own. But anyways, thank you for watching.